Hi everybody and welcome to this walkthrough video about our co-op multiplayer mode in Son of Noor. Daniel and myself are going to meet up, he's the one in the blue shirt, and show you a little bit about the co-op mode and what special things we have implemented to make it even more fun. The multiplayer mode in Son of Noor is just awesome. I mean we have implemented several features, especially for the co-op modes, so players are really able to join forces and solve stuff together. For instance, take this rock over here. This one is way too heavy to be lifted alone, but together with joint forces we are powerful enough to really move it. Now picture a cave with a huge boulder blocking its entrance. That would then be a secret area especially designed for the multiplayer cope mode. I mean, there need to be at least two players to remove the rock, and in single player you can just ask a friend to join you and help you out here. Another really cool thing you can do is preparing ambushes. We already know that on the other side of the sand dune there are some enemies, so let's push this dune away and Daniel takes care of the rest. Well, almost. Preparing traps also works really well in multiplayer. So for instance, if you take a lot of melons, set them on fire and let them levitate in place, you're actually going to form a powerful minefield. So you might ask why melons? Yeah, because there's lots of them. Once you've prepared your trap, you basically just need to wait for someone to enter. As you just saw, you needed several explosions to kill the Sarul. A single one is not really enough. See? But fortunately, there is a way to make the explosion even stronger. For that, Daniel needs to shoot his telekinetic object onto my fire enhanced one. Let's try in slow motion. Why did you miss? Now we have to do it again. Daniel? Well done! Come on, once more with the melon! Last week we implemented a really cool feature. The spell fusion. Let me demonstrate. The firestorm you just saw is a really powerful combination spell between wind and fire magic. To summon it, I need Daniel to cast a fire burst and immediately afterwards I need to cast a wind push. Then the two elements will fuse together and form this great spell. Of course it also works the other way around. Him casting a wind push and me casting the fire burst. Yet another great example of teamwork is one going there immobilizing the enemies by terraforming beneath them. So they lose their balance and the other one shooting them down one by one. This is how it's done. And this is how it can go wrong. Well, there is still a ton of cool things you could do in multiplayer. From passing rocks to knock out enemies, overcoming obstacles, solving puzzles, or just fighting side by side. I hope you enjoyed this insight into Son of Norse Cope mode. Thanks for watching and thanks for supporting our project. Please share this video with your friends and make them aware of our ongoing Kickstarter campaign. And I certainly hope to see you next time. Bye!